Hey Deckers, there's finally a much easier way to install third party launchers on Steam Deck. So you can see I've got only the EA launcher installed here. So let's dive into how to get a ton more installed like the Ubisoft launcher or Rockstar or Battle.net very, very easily. Switch over to desktop mode and open up your favorite browser. Go to non Steam launchers on Steam Deck. I'll put a link in the description below and go to the releases section on the right. Click through to there and then hit source code and download this to somewhere easy to get to. Open up the section from the Dolphin browser where you installed this. Right click it or long press it and say extract archive here. Then go to the folder. My version was 2.6 when I ran this. Then just run the non steam launchers dot desktop file except the prompt. And now you'll have a list of all of the launchers that you can install with one click. Now, I wasn't interested in quite a lot of these. I only wanted the Epic Games Ubisoft Connect, or previously known as Uplay, and the Battle.net launcher. So just click those three and hit OK. If you ever want to clear these off, you can just run it again and hit that Start Fresh button, and it will delete all of the install files for you as well. Now, the Battle.net and the Rockstar launchers open up during the install, so don't be scared of that. Although I did have an issue with the Rockstar launcher that it didn't close after the install, so just cancel out that once it's finished and let this process run through until you get to the Jedi question. Once you get to this section, this is going to restart Steam for you, so contemplate your Jedi question, hit OK, and wait for Steam to restart. Now, due to the branch that I'm in and because I've fiddled around with the Steam link previously, my Steam does relaunch back into big picture mode, but yours should open up normally. I do find it a bit easier to work in Steam in big picture mode now that they've made a few of the changes. So if you do want to run the big picture mode, it does make life a little easier. So once Steam's restarted, those launchers that you selected will now be in your Steam library. So just go into the properties of each one of these and change the compatibility mode to Proton Experimental by hitting properties, going down to compatibility, and forced to use a specific compatibility tool and set it to Proton Experimental. Once you've done that, I do also find it easier to stay in desktop mode to link accounts. So if you have your browser signed in, for example, then you can use the Google authentication mechanisms and it just makes this process a lot quicker. Otherwise you can just log in as normal. Now I did find that even though with battle.net, I could link through my Chrome browser when I started it back up later, possibly because I didn't hit the keep me logged in, it did ask me to log back in again. So I had to manually log in and then it does remember the login. So just bear that in mind with the battle.net launcher, but all of the others when Chrome authenticated did stay logged in. You can see I did the same here with the Epic Games launcher and the Epic Games launcher does require an update and also to install the Epic online services on the first run. So be sure to finish those processes as well. Now this step is optional, but will really make your library look fantastic. I would also recommend you download the Decky Loader by going to the Decky Loader link in the link below. Hit the big download button, you download the Decky installer and run the Decky installer.desktop file that you just downloaded. Again, accept the warning, this does need a sudo password. And if you don't know what your sudo password is, then I'll put a link to our guide into how to set one or reset it if you've forgotten it. For Decky Loader, I run the pre-release version because I'm running the beta OS, but you should be fine if you stick with the stable channel. Once that's finished, you can switch back to game mode by hitting the power and log out on desktop mode. Once back in desktop mode, if you have Decky Loader installed, if you press the three dot menu on the right hand side of your Steam Deck, then you'll have the option at the bottom here of like a plug icon, select that, and then in the new menu that pops up, go to the market icon in the top and you'll see all of the plugins that you can install. There's tons here. We have a whole separate guide on the best ones of these and I'll link it well in the description. But you want to go down to Steam Grid DB and just click install. Now on your library menu options, you will have a change artwork option and you can just go and pick the capsule by capsule and hero for each of your launchers so that it looks like it's professionally installed. 
Now you're in game mode, I always just double check that the compatibility is still set to Proton Experimental as sometimes it does untick between desktop and game mode. The only extra thing to do is to bring up the Steam menu and go to controller settings and change the controller settings with the button at the bottom and go into the templates and select game with mouse trackpad. This will give you full controller layout in the games once you run them, but gives you the mouse control for navigating in the launchers. However, you will still need to press the Steam button and the trackpad click to emulate the mouse click. Once that's done, you are good to go. Install your games as normal, and if you need to go to a SD card for the installs, it should be mapped to one of the E drives. If you don't see your SD card under one of the extra drives, then just run the auto mount storage script that we've linked in the description below, again from desktop mode with the sudo command, and you will always have all of your storage mapped in any of the third party launchers. That's it, you're now good to go. Thanks for watching, and see in the next one.